we had a whole other company send us another gimbal, except this time it's for a GoPro instead of your phone. This is a totally different company. You can see right there that company. This is the Falcon 3-axis gimbal for a GoPro. So we're going to test it out, and I'll show you what we can do. So let's go ahead and open this up. Comes with your comes with your instructions, the gimbal and a tripod. It also comes with a charger and the other necessary stuff to lock uh, the GoPro up to the gimbal. So this is actually the gimbal itself, and most GoPro accessories uh, clip on with this technique or whatever this is. But you just put it inside these little grooves right here and then stick this uh nail thing i'll just show you in a second to go through there just so it stays that's how most gopro accessories work but that's specifically how this one works too so yeah the gimbal here's the gimbal itself and the tripod and this bag it's the charging cable to charge up the gimbal and the pin that you put through the uh, thing. See this thing just, you put this together right here. And then you put this, whatever you want to call it, through it to keep it stable. So we'll see how that works. Put that together in a second. But the bag comes with this and it also comes with two allen wrenches and a screw. All right, I got it hooked up. When you're putting the GoPro on the uh, gimbal, you just need to make sure you face it the right way. It tells you how to do that in the directions, or you can just look at the picture on here. But it took me a second, but I got it on the right way, you see. And then I used this thing I was talking about, the screw in there to hold it in place. And yeah, so you hold down this red button for it to turn on, so let's test it out. And the Hero 7, which is what I'm using right now, it already has stabilization, but this just makes the stabilization better. So let me see how to hook it up to it. Okay, I was just going to try to connect the Bluetooth to the camera. What you can do, you just go in here and then you go into settings and then uh, do some stuff in the settings. It tells you how to do all that in here. But, and that's basically if you just want to hook it up to like this picture, video, and that looks like Tom Lops like there. But yeah, you can do those things on this gimbal if you get it hooked up to this, which shouldn't be very hard, but see, it follows every movement in a really smooth way. And it keeps it completely stable. You're moving it around. So it just makes the stabilization that's already on the GoPros even better. And double tapping this get made it do this. I have no idea what just happened. But I know if you double tap this button right here on the back that puts it back to the normal position. Because you can control it with this little joystick right here. You can move it side to side, up and down. And then say you wanted to get back to the normal position, you just double tap this back button and it brings it straight back. So it's a pretty cool uh, gimbal to stabilize your GoPro even more. And the tripod, you just screw in right here and then open these up. Just like that, just open it up. And you can sit it wherever you want. So that's pretty cool. But if you want to check out the gimbal, the link of it will be in the description. Getting ready. We just climbed down Poison Ivy Hill to get in here. So, you've been here, but not since the storms. And I know that's my story every time, but it's the truth. 
That is a letter. Oh. And there's actually another storm about to come in. So we're going to go that way because we always go downstream. You may not need glasses. Plus, I got the resolution set a little different. So, because I got a smaller SD card in here. So, it's not going to hold as much. So, let's go look around and see what's in here. So, there's our first treasure gas cap off a of 60 Chevrolet step side blue rusty just around the fender wells kickboards need to be replaced probably I can tell by that dent right there what is that I thought it was a brace it's not impressing my lid oh I'm sorry I'm just kidding maybe there'll be something new Found a piece of blue oh, hot so tree. Okay, that's nice. We have to travel back downstream. Our boots aren't tall enough to cross after the rains, it got high. But if you're a first time viewer, what we do is get in any creek and every creek we can in Alabama and everywhere and try to find stuff. I just picked up this little plastic Louis Vuitton. What do you think that come off of? A coat with many colors. She's in the harvest. What is that? I think it's aluminum. Oh yeah. It's melted aluminum. Aluminum. We shall harvest. Good job. Did you get it? I keep messing up my water. It's either a lead joint, that's heavy, or iron. And I can't get it out. Okay. Oh, it's a 1700s iron milk jug top. Okay, not really. I just climbed up the bank and looked around. There's a much easier way in and out right here. So, it may be sooner than I thought because that hill we came down is tough to get up and it's got poison ivy about knee high. Our boots are loaded with water. So I guess we may as well go upstream. <laughs> so far nothing. I haven't felt any water getting yet. Okay. Oh, Looks like it's about to get deep again. I'm trying to get us to the bridge. This is the same bridge where I found the uh, the class ring. Then we came back and did some more looking around. It's just a, it's an easy spot to walk in. So I wanted her to come experience it. You okay? Look at how much water is coming out from underneath there. And it's not just coming from this edge. So that could have been old sewer pipe. It runs all the way down and goes all the way down under the interstate over there. Or it could be just city runoff. This pipe through here and up through town. Don't know for sure. We're gonna have to really pay attention right here because there's nowhere else to look. Fuel filter made of concrete. It is a fuel filter. It feels like concrete. Here's more of that pipe. So it does run all the way up and then it goes wherever it goes. 
that is an Acer. Here's a laptop computer bag. No, it's not a bag. It is a, let me get it where I can see it. It is just the cover for a computer. We'll get it out of here at least. What is it? Oh, just a piece of iron. What is it? it looks like what? A uh, piece of tile. Look at that out in the creek. Oh, there's a limb coming off the bank. We're trying to find you something of interest in this creek. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I thought it was, oh, it's a speaker. I thought it was a roller skate wheel. That's the old day speaker. Now a speaker's not even a speaker anymore. This is about to storm on us. So we've only got 300 steps to go. She's trying to get in the shallows. I've gotten to find her some taller boots. Or maybe some waders. The problem with waders is they're so hot. They're incredibly hot. Bottom of the only last standing bottle in here. And that's all of it. So there's nothing there. I can't believe this is all we got. It's all we did. We didn't find anything except that gas cap off of Blue Tacoma, California. I hate to end it like this. She's in the middle of harvesting. What is it? It is a Motorola cover. Is that what it is? Oh, nope, I maybe so. not. Looks like something you have on um, makeup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to capture the moment. I guess we are done. Let me find it. Anything. Anything. Yet. But we're not out of the water yet. No snakes. No bones. Yeah, I guess that's it. We can't get up there. We tried. Remember, thanks for watching my videos.